What's up guys and welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Rust. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Rust has a huge update and it keeps doing small little updates and everything has changed in Rust. The recoil has changed, there's a crosshair now, everything is changing in Rust and a lot of people are having FPS issues and just in general they are running maybe on a low-end gaming budget laptop or low-end gaming budget PC. So I'm going to go over some settings that you can do to make this game run much, much smoother and much, much better. So just follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. All right, so let's jump straight into this. So the first thing you're going to need to do is actually go to the search button over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in for people out there that has a hard drive and for people out there that has low in gaming PCs. All right, you're going to type in edit power plan just like this and click on edit power plan. All right, you're going to go to power options. And then as you can see, I have one that's called for rust. So I'm just going to click on this one over here. Then I can change plan settings and delete it and say, okay. And I'm going to do this. You're going to create a power plan. You're going to say high performance and you're going to delete everything inside here, just like this. And you're going to say for rust, just like that and say next. You're going to say never, never, it's your own personal preference, but I keep the line on never and say create. Now you have a power plan for rust. Now we're going to change the advanced settings in this power options. This is especially useful for people out there that's playing this on a hard drive or that's playing this on a laptop. So you go to change plan settings and then you go to change advanced power settings and you're going to change this over here where it says 20. You're going to delete everything inside here and put zero there and click anywhere you like to. And then it's going to say turn off hard disk after never. As you can see, Rust is an active power plan right now. Scroll all the way down like this. Go to process of power management. Go to minimum process state and it's going to say 100%. Change it to 100% if it's not on 100%. If you're playing on a laptop, it's going to say plugged in and on battery. Change them both to 100%. And then this one also change them both to 100%. I do this myself and I'm running this game on a PC, a really good computer. All right, so it helps a lot. Trust me, it does. Go to apply, say OK, and then close out of this. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to the search button over here and type in graphics, graphics settings, just like this. And then you're going to add Rust inside here. So I'm just going to delete mine and I'm just going to show you how you do this. You just go to browse and you go to where your Rust is installed. So obviously you go to Steam apps, common, and then Rust. And then you're going to go to Rust over here, which is the largest file. Double click on it. It's going to add it inside here. Go to options and go to high performance. Click on high performance and say save. Once you're done with that, you're going to close out of this. And the next tip that I do highly recommend you do, if you are a NVIDIA user like me, just right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel and open up NVIDIA control panel. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to adjust image settings with preview. And then you're going to be over here, right? If you are getting a lot of FPS loss inside Rust and you want that boost, you want to be able to run your game smooth, I highly recommend go to use my preference and then put this on performance. So there's a slider over here, it's called balance, performance, quality, right? If you know that you can do much better FPS and you want so much more FPS inside your game, put it on performance and say apply. All right, mine's good over here with the machine that I'm currently running, so I don't need to change anything inside here. I'm just going to say cancel because I don't need to change anything inside here. But the next thing you can do is go to this one over here and select your graphics card. Do not select auto select, do not say CPU, select your graphics card and say apply if you haven't done it already. Go to manage 3D settings like this, go to program settings, and you're going to do this for Rust. Now you're going to click on this over here, the drop down arrow, and go and find your Rust. If you do not have Rust installed, or over here in this little drop down arrow, you just go to add like this, go to browse and go to the same thing. Steam apps, common, rust, and double click on the EXE and it will add it inside here. All right, so the, you can just copy my settings like this and you should be good to go. So this one over here, CUDA GPUs, you're going to put it on your graphics card. Do not say use global settings, put it on your graphics card. Scroll all the way down, this one over here, open rendering GL GPU, you're going to put this on your graphics card you're currently running, and then obviously VSync you're going to disable, depending on the monitor that you're currently running, all right? If you want to cap your FPS, you can go ahead and do so, put it on on, you, then you'll cap your FPS to what the refresh rate of your hertz of your monitor is. I do highly recommend putting this off, then you can get the max FPS that you want out of your game. Once you're done with that, you say apply, and then the next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do to make your game look much better, is go to adjust desktop color settings, and then go to this over here. Choose the monitor you're currently playing your game on, so if you have one monitor, multiple monitors, whatever the case might be, choose your main monitor, go to image 3, and then change the digital vibrance. Now, as you can see, this image starts looking much better depending on where you put it, and it gives a little bit more digital vibrance. My sweet spot is on 85%, all right? It depends on your display, or it depends on your monitor that you're running. Once you're done with that, say apply, and it will do it for every single game that you're going to be playing. 
Once you're done with that, you close out of this, and I'm going to jump straight into Rust. I'm going to show you the settings that I'm using for Rust and for you to get the best FPS right now in 2022 to get the best FPS out of your game and make your game look good, feel good, and get really good FPS while you are playing your game. All right, let's jump straight into that. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in Rust right now, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, Rust has done a lot of updates, and they made the game much, much better. In overall, in general, they made the game much, much better. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to Options over here, and then go to Options, and your field of view is obviously your own personal preference. In fact, every single thing here, right here in the Options menu, is your own personal preference. This is pretty cool right now. Like I said, you have a crosshair right now, so you can put it on and off, and they change the recoil pattern inside the game. All right, so the next thing you're going to need to do is go to screen, and then obviously you're going to select your screen, put it on exclusive, put VSync off. You already have it off on your NVIDIA control panel, if you used NVIDIA control panel, and then FPS limit, just put it on 240, and then leave it like this, and say apply changes. First thing you're going to need to do is go to graphics. Now, this is where things get a little bit more intense, all right? To get the best quality out this game, right now, at this very moment, okay, is to change these things okay so as you can see for me right now my things are like this and i run my game perfectly fine literally i run my game fine i mean look at the fps i'm doing now i do about 183 while i'm playing my game um so that's not really a problem for me but for everyone out there that needs an fps boost this is what i highly recommend you go ahead and do mine's on six here i highly recommend you take it all the way down to three or you put it down to two, okay? Two and three looks good, but I do highly recommend putting it on three, all right? And then this one over here, I do highly recommend the render scale. You keep at 1.0 and then leave it like that. Put this off, completely off. Turn this all the way down. And then you're going to turn every single thing down over here. Turn them all down, just like this, all down. And then the shader level over here as well. You're going to turn the shader level all the way down. You're going to keep it all the way down, all right? So now what we're going to need to do inside here to change things a little bit different is the draw distance, all right? Now, as you can see, my draw distance over here is on 2,500, all right? So for people out there that want more FPS, I highly recommend putting it in the thousands. Just put it like maybe, I don't know, maybe on a thousand, exactly on a thousand, and you should be good to go. And then the things at the bottom here as well, you're going to put it all the way down, all right? We're going to scroll all the way down. These over here, the whole mesh quality, if you want better looking, you know, your game looking better and stuff like that, you can leave it like this, but I do not recommend it because you can get more FPS by changing this all the way down like this. Maybe put the quality like at least halfway. Um, maybe the tree quality, put it at least maybe like halfway like this and put this about like here, all right? The terrain, you can put all the way down to the bottom and then grass quality all the way down to the bottom and then decor quality all the way down to the bottom. And then from here, you're going to go to image effects. You're going to put this over here to TSAA. I highly recommend you go ahead and put that on there or you can put it on this over here, FXAA, but TSSAA is probably the best one you can go for. I highly do recommend changing that to that because it makes the game actually look a little bit better. Then all of these things you are going to turn off. Every single one of these you are going to turn off. All right. Once you're done with that, you should be good to go. You should be getting more FPS inside your game. There is a little setting that you can do inside the game to actually show you the FPS that you're doing. It says FPS counter if you're not using MSI Afterburner like me. Put it on and it will do basic or advanced or advanced plus ping. Right, so then it shows you your FPS here in the left corner at the bottom, and you should be good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, peace out.